Renegade Radio on the road, Critter Broadcasting Live. Day three, Rocklahoma, the mega three-day, three-stage live music festival, loudest and largest Memorial Day weekend party in the U.S. Joining us in Radio Row in the booth, we've got Heaven's Basement. Welcome to Southwest Oklahoma, man. Hey, mate. <laughs> Good to see you guys yeah. cross the pond. And uh, how's, how's it weather-wise? Are you guys being able to cope? How long have you been in the States? Uh, we've been here for two and a half weeks, three weeks. The first week was kind of like pretty cold, to be honest, you know. Uh, some rain and stuff like that was in like the north. Um, today's kind of hot and sticky, you know. I'm regretting putting jeans on this morning, but I'm going to sort out. Big a mistake. Yeah, I'm going to have to play in like as little clothing as possible today, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> About two weeks you've been in the States, yeah. acclimating now out on the road in support of Filthy Empire. Yeah. Uh, yep. How long are you guys planning on uh, staying out on the road? Are you going to be doing, hitting all the big festivals? Are you going to go out on your own? What's the plan? Well, we've been, we've, we started touring this album in. Uh, August 2012 so this is the end of the cycle now and we've done all the festivals like in Europe and America you know we did Kansas City Rock Festival Rocklahoma uh, Carolina Rebellion and all those lot um, so this for us is sort of like tying off our American stint and then we go back we're going to start writing the album we might maybe do another tour towards the end of the year and then you know we're going to look at recording the album all the stuff that we've written or not depends how drunk we get well and Filthy Empire is not really I guess in in where you guys are coming from, as far as from a business standpoint and being in a band, you know, you might feel it's old, but us is still kind of new. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, we're still, yeah, it's really weird because in Europe, we're on like single number five, and in the States, we're on single number two. Yeah. So, and we've been, we've been like t taking on the whole world in on this album cycle. We've done Australia, we've done North America, Europe. So, um, if we do go away and do our next album later this year, we ain't going to be away for long. We'll be back on the road in 2015, right at the start for another two years supporting the next album. We just want to keep going, so, you know, it's kind of the usual thing is that we take it day by day, week by week, you know, plans always change, so right now we're here for another week in the States, Rock a Home, we've got Kansas Rock Fest coming up as well next weekend, so that's our immediate focus. Well, on that second single, and the disc been out, what, um, two years? Uh, uh, almost year, two years. A year, year and a half, February yeah. 2013. Yeah. Right. So how, how are you finding time to write and record? Because you guys have been out on the road pretty much nonstop since Filthy Empire hit shelves and, and as yeah. a download. So how do you guys find time to even write and record? I mean, to be honest, up until a few, maybe a few months ago, our focus was not on writing at all. In the last few months, everyone started getting new ideas together for the next album, you know, recording riffs, writing down lyrics, whatever, that kind of stuff. So now it's just a case of us getting in a room together in, when we get back back to England in like sometime in June, throw all the ideas into a pot, you know, and get stuck in with it, and hopefully it'll start coming together pretty quick. So I guess while you're out on the road, you you come up with some riffs, you come up with some ideas, maybe some lyrics, or yeah. while you're out, and then when you're done with that touring cycle, you kind of get the gang together yeah, and exactly. try to start yeah. fleshing things out. Yeah, I think like on on average, I mean myself, I'll probably come up with like three or four small ideas, even if it's just a tagline for a song, um, a day, and then you know you, you whittle them down. When we get into a room, we'll sort of be like, well, this one's good, this one's not good. We will definitely use this. We will definitely not use that. You know, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's how it takes sometimes. It doesn't even, it doesn't have to be a full musical idea. It can be just a, a title for a song, maybe or a word. It can be anything that sparks something. You know, when you throw it to the rest of the guys in the band. They can run with it, and you know we all start mixing ideas together and see what see what happens. That's incredible, man! How you guys are able to pull that together and get that going. Now, do, do you guys take the risk of you might have you know come up with an idea or maybe even wrote something while you're out on the road? Do you ever experiment a little bit on stage and play a little bit of that? Or yeah, we've done it. Hold it back. We've done it on a on a recent UK headline tour. There was like a riff idea that we just dropped into the set as like a interlude in between a song, that kind of thing. Yeah, but we've not. We've not done anything too extreme where we've wrote a song that day and gone and played it that night right. on stage. Yeah, we ain't as good as the Doors. So you're able, yeah. <laughs> so you're able to kind of experiment a little bit with some riffs and stuff yeah. to kind of get the reaction of the crowd and see exactly. what's working, what's exactly. not working, and yeah. decide from there, material-wise, what you want to build around. Yeah, that. exactly. So what part of England are you guys originally from? We're from all over. Um, Rivers is from Manchester. I'm from sort of near London. Um, the other two boys, our bassist is from Newcastle and our guitarist is from like Leicester. So literally all over the place. Yeah. And how did you guys originally form together as a band? Well, um, me and Sid kind of met in 2005 okay. in a previous band. Uh, that band didn't work out, so we started Heaven's Basement in 2007 or something like that, really, 2008. Took a while to get the lineup sorted. You know, the first initial years of like slogging around the UK in a van and, you know, people coming and going. Uh, finally got it together in 2011 with Robin Aaron and, you know, it's, it's been 
we've been on the road ever since, really, nonstop, and it's been great since then. Well, and I have to mention quickly, off subject, and I'm sure you guys get this all the time, especially, you know, in this part of the world, you ain't from around here. Uh, the, the, the accents, I'm sure, you know, the humidity that we're experiencing here at Rocklahoma are probably all the ladies. You know, the, <laughs> all the moisture buildup from yeah, those maybe. gorgeous accents that you guys have. Yeah. Uh, so it, when, when, the, when Americans go to England, do they think, we sound funny? It's, it's really weird for us because a lot of people sometimes think we're Australian as well. And oh, really? We all have different accents. We all have regional accents. My, like my accent is very much different to Aaron's or Sid and Rob's because we're all from different parts of the UK. Um, so it's interesting to, find, to see where people guess we're from. I've had Australia, I've had Ireland quite a few times. Yeah. No one actually ever says Manchester where I'm actually from. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, you know. We might have to convince uh, somebody, I think it was Los Angeles, that we're from Mexico. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. Oh, man. I want to thank you. Heaven's Basement for stopping by. We'll be seeing you guys live in action great. around, what, 5.30, Yeah, 5.30-ish, right. yeah. Yeah, 5.30 yeah. on the uh, Hard Rock stage. Uh, Can't looking wait. forward to seeing you. I have not had the opportunity to see you live yet. Brilliant. Hey, thank fun. you, guys. Excited. All right, man. Nice thank one. You, mate.